So the first problem was, let me see if it said on here. Uh, today, they decided to arrange their whole collection in columns of 12. So I think most of us know the d division problem would be what? Well, do we all know it's division? Why? Zach, why do we know it's division? It's putting them into groups. It's splitting them as equally as possible, yeah. So we're going to do it slightly different. We're going to use a ratio table here, and we're going to do a couple together. We're going to, no, you're just watching. You're just participating right now. We're going to fill out a ratio table, and as we do our ratio table, we're going to make some groupings on our grid sheet. So you're just watching. We don't need any paper flipping. We're just sitting. So if we're doing a ratio table, I'm going to make groups of 12. So right now on my ratio table, what have I got? A little more specific. One group of 12. So on my grid sheet now, I'm going to make a group. There's my one group, and how many squares are going to be in my group? 12. 12. Very good. So this first long column right here in this box is what? That's, no. This first long, that's 10, so I know I need to get down to two more. And I'm just going to loop 12. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it should not be a total train wreck. And then when we do ratio tables, so here's our 12 right there, 12 squares. After one, we typically do what? Two. two. So let's do two again. So if we know one group of 12 is 12, two groups must be what? 24. 24. So then over here, I'm going to make a larger group. Now I'm going to have two groups of what? 12. Two groups of 12. So here's one group, two groups. There's my two groups of 12. Then after two, we usually do what? 10. We, we can do 10. Let's, let's try 10. Now typically we don't, but we're using multiplying to divide. So we want to get up to our answer, which was 252 divided by 12 as quickly as we can. We're trying to get to this quickly. So let's do 10. 10 groups of 12 equal what? Pensky? 120. 120. So now how many groups do I have to do? 10. I have to do 10. I just said 10, so now I'm going to do 10. Now I can do it right next to it. I can do it over here because this is a fresh 10, but I'm conserving space, so I'm going to do 10 a little bit further. Count for me. Guys are more delayed than the camera is. No, because the camera's delayed. Oh, because the camera's glitchy. Thanks, Gonzalez. Good noticing skills. Yeah, good job. So here's our, and thank you for explaining that, you guys. Thanks. So there's our 10 groups of what? 12. Of 12. How many was it? 120. Two groups of 12 was? 24. 24. One group was obviously... 12. Now, have we built up to 252 yet? No. So, what should we try next after that? Because we got to get to 252. Any suggestions, Ella? 20. 20? All right. We could try 20. What are 20 groups of 12? 240. 240. So, now I just have to double this. Should I continue here? Hallie, should I continue there? Why? Yeah. I should? Yeah. I should do 20 right here? There's not enough room. There's not enough room. So that's a, not a great spot to do it. So I need to do it down somewhere else. So I'll just do it right here. Now it's going to be trickier. So I'm going to find a spot where I can mark it easier. So here's 10 plus our 2. And now I need 20 of them. So I can just go how far over? Whoops, I'm not high enough. So there's two boxes, right? So there's 10, 20. And then loop it around. Again, doesn't have to be perfect, but I need to mark my divisor over there. And this is 20. How much is that? 240. 240. Have we done enough to figure out what 250 divided by 12 is yet? Oops, yes. excuse me. We have? No. Some are saying yes, some are saying no. Cole, what do you think, Mr. Guy with his hand in the air? What do you think? Not yet? Yes, yes, yes. 
Say it again. So, well, we have, so like 200 more, you mean, Cole? That would put us way over, though, right? 200 groups of 12? Because we already know that 20 is really close. So that would be kind of high, right? But thank you. Elian? Yes. Yes, what? Yes. We have enough? Okay. So let's look at our groups then. How will we figure out? You differ? You got to you say something different? Well, let's figure out how to do this. So how many groups are we going to add together to get 252? Fitch? Here's our figure box. So how many groups are we adding together? We're adding the 20 and the 1. So the 20 is how many? 240. And what? 12. And 12. Now, I don't see a 12. I don't see a 12. A 1? Also one group. Okay, so that's 12. And if we add those together, you said it equals what? 252. Now, how many groups was that, did you say? This was 20, and this was 1. So that means how many groups of 12 fit into 252? 21. This is using the area model of division. This is another way to divide. Okay? Again, after today... I don't care if you use it ever again, but for some of us, seeing things visually is easier. Now, could we have made other groups? Yes or no? Could we have made stuff besides 1, 2, 10, and 20? Could we have done 5? Yes. And we usually do 5, don't we? Yes. Yeah, we do, usually, after 10, and we could have put that there. I encourage you to do that. All right. One more sample one together, and then we'll be doing it on our...